Hey, what's up? This is Rodney and I'm back and you know, everybody has been talking about Kanye West. He's been all over social media. He's been all over uh, my television screen. Um, you know, he decided to express his love for Donald Trump. He has been wearing his Make America Great Again hat. Um, let me just say this before I go into the whole Donald Trump, Kanye West thing. One thing I don't like, and I'm going to make this quick as possible. One thing I don't like is people who are not consistent with their opinions. Y'all will drag these black girls for filth, but will stand up for these niggas till y'all motherfucking pass out. Let me tell you how I know this. Chrisette Michelle, I don't think Chrisette Michelle voted for Donald Trump, but she performed at his inauguration. Y'all ran over Chrisette Michelle 27 times with an 18-wheeler. I think I said that I thought Chrisette was coming from a, from a place of, you know, I want to run through the rain with my friends and hold hands and just... Everybody should sit in Indian style and just try to get to love each other because we're in this together. I thought she was coming from one of those, you know, we are the world, make it a better place type of places, you know? But people drug her. Tina from Mary Mary. You know, Tina said that Donald Trump's uh, Christian values align with her Christian values, which I know what the fuck she was trying to say. She was really trying to say Mike Pence Christian values align with her Christian values. That's why she voted for them. Y'all drug her. Even though she kind of deserved that shit. <laughs> this bitch had to cancel her goddamn tour. Azalea Banks is another one. Every time I look up, y'all be dragging Azalea. Now I ain't gonna sit here and say that sometimes I don't side-eye Azalea. But sometimes this bitch be speaking truth. But for some reason, when it comes to these niggas, y'all will pass out trying to defend these niggas. Kanye West. Well, you know, his mama died and he ain't been the same. And, you know, them Kardashians, they'll suck the life out of you. And, you know, he just gonna, you know, it's always something. Kanye West is grown. He said what he said. Let him stand in his shit. Every time I look up, y'all defending these niggas. Every time, whether it's T.I. disrespecting his wife, where everybody go through stuff and, you know, he trying to be a better man and you should, y'all need to stay out of married folks' business. He love his wife. He just going through something. <laughs> Kevin Hart, he just made a mistake. You don't fall in pussy on mistake. He cheated on his first wife, Tori, with a Nico. He cheated on the Nico with two other, three other bitches. How many times you gonna keep making the same mistake, baby? Y'all defend these niggas and still support these niggas. But for some reason, I don't know when it comes to these black girls, y'all will cut them off and be like, bitch, we're not supporting you for real. Fuck you. All I'm saying is, bitch, if you gonna be like that, be like that across the motherfucking board with all these motherfuckers. That's all I'm saying. I'm done and I ain't got nothing else to say, child. Okay, so Kanye West and Donald Trump. People are trying to make this into an argument of Kanye West has the right to be a Republican. Kanye West has the right to... Look, we that's not even the argument, though. The argument is not Kanye West, ha, he has the right to be a Republican or not. We know he does. We also know Chance the Rapper. We also know that all black people don't have to be Democrats. That's not the argument. The confusion comes in that he supports someone, not supports someone. The confusion comes in that he supports Donald Trump. You was just saying the other day, girl, well, not the other day. Why do you black people will exaggerate like a motherfucker? Kanye, you was just saying, not just, you were saying when Hurricane Katrina came and hit New Orleans that George Bush didn't like black people. But now all of a sudden you on the Make America Great Make America Great Again tool, situation, whatever it's called, slogan, motto, shit. 
So you could, I could, you have to understand why, especially black people, some are upset, some are bothered, and some like me are just confused. Like, okay, girl, okay. So no, it's not that. So stop trying to make it into this. Oh, he's a Republican. He talked about. I mean, you know, he's we mad because he's a Republican. Um, you have Republicans out there who actually have a lot of motherfucking sense. A lot of motherfucking sense. And you have people like a Paris Denoy who ain't got no fucking sense. Like motherfucking Steve Harvey. He probably one of, one of them Republican motherfuckers too. Kanye West. Anyways, you know, he also mentioned Obama. Let me just say something about Obama. We ain't got to agree on everything that Obama did in office, but for some reason, people hold, hold Obama up to this he was supposed to be God. And what I mean by that is y'all thought Obama was going to come in office and fix all issues for black people. All issues in Chicago. All issues in the world. When all these white men who came before Obama had a hand in fucking up the world. This world, this country been a shitty ass mess before Obama. But for some reason, y'all thought Obama was going to get in office or was supposed to get in office and fix all the issues that's been here since the beginning of time. And because he did not do that, all of a sudden, oh, he was a horrible president. Bitch, what did the other niggas do before him? Kanye West has this thing of, and it's really, it really low-key is a little bit disrespectful to black people. Because he has this thing of, I'm an independent thinker. Donald Trump is an independent thinker. We're the outsiders. We, we, we don't do what people tell us to do. Basically trying to insinuate that black people are Democrats because we stupid and ignorant. That's what people told us that we're supposed to be. Well, the truth of the matter is, a lot of times when people grow up in a household where it's Republican, there's a good chance that if the mom and daddy is Republican, the kid's gonna end up being Republican too. Or if the mom and daddy are Democrat, the kid's gonna be Democrat. Now you of course have situations where you could grow up in a Democratic household and you turn into, uh, you say I'm a Republican or vice versa. But to just insinuate that black people are just Democrats because they so stupid and dumb and they don't know no better, I feel like it's a little bit of some bullshit. While I feel as though I'm a Democrat, I still feel that there are certain things that I don't necessarily agree with. But anyways, um, I would rather have a motherfucker who sit in his house and say, fuck everybody, fuck these politicians, fuck these people. I'm just here to go to work, feed my family, feed, you know, take care, take care of my family, and I don't give a fuck about none of y'all hoes. I respect a motherfucker like that before you have a motherfucker like a Kanye West who swore up and down he here for black people or Steve Harvey when he swore up and down he here for black people but as soon as people started holding his feet to the fire it was oh my god I ain't know y'all was gonna be so mad at me I'm done uh, I'm out I'm gonna go back living my nigga you wasn't here trying to help black people from the get go nigga I'm just saying, stop trying to act like y'all are these big time activists and these people who are really looking out for black people when you not. Y'all niggas be y'all niggas be some frauds. Frauds is what we call you, girl. Anyways, I think that's all I got to say. I'm about to go to sleep. Um, but yeah, I just feel like it's. Uh, girl, in conclusion, this is not about Kanye West being a Republican. It's about the simple fact that bitch you was calling George B Bush a racist the other day and now you supporting somebody who yeah black people don't have to be Democrats but bitch we damn sure ain't gotta support somebody who clearly is homophobic, racist, a bigot, all of the above. Obama was not and could not fix the problem that was here before he got his ass in office. But y'all really thought of, y'all really thought this one man was gonna come into office in the eight years, fix all the issues that were already here before him? Foolish and stupid. And again, yes, I will I will support respect a motherfucker more when a motherfucker tell you straight up, fuck them niggas, fuck all y'all. I ain't fucking with that shit. 
Y'all, these motherfuckers don't give a fuck about me. I don't give a fuck about them. I'm going to go to work. I'm going to come home. I'm going to feed my family, take care of my kids, and I don't give a fuck about none of y'all. I respect a motherfucker like that any day before a motherfucker who try to act like they really down for the niggas and they ain't. Nigga, you down for self. You all about your motherfucking self. Just say it, nigga. You don't fuck with us, bitch. I'm worried about my motherfucking pocket. Ugh, let me go to sleep.